What's up, Pokemon trainers? This is your friendly neighborhood, Volados, and uh, <clears throat> we're going to be going over <clears throat> some of the major threats that the Rayquaza Electric deck might face in the current format. The first and most obvious one is this card, Pokemon Catcher. Because the entire Rayquaza Electric deck relies upon a single bench sitter, namely Electric, Pokemon Catcher is a very, very powerful card against this deck because it allows you to pull up whatever you need, and in the case of this deck, it will usually be an Electric, and it'll usually sit active for a very long period of time while your opponent builds up his or her bench, and you struggle to get out from that. A second thing that I believe is going to be a big thing, I think Regigigas is a huge thing against this deck, largely because of its huge 180 HP, and the fact that its major attack, Raging Hammer, does more damage based on the number of damage counters that are on it. So, you couldn't, say, build it up with Raikou EX and... Uh, and expect to not get retaliated against in some way. Regigigas will take that damage and spit it right back at you. Out of the newest set, uh, what is this, Boundaries Crossed, Keldeo. Is it Keldeo? And the deck surrounding Keldeo is, a, is going to be very, very popular. Might or might not be very powerful. Uh, as you can see, it has 170 HP. The big thing here are its ability and its attack. Its ability basically means that Keldeo never needs to run a switch, ever. It can move in and out however you want it to. Its attack works very well with another new card, which is sort of a reprint of an old card, Blastoise, which has the very ancient power uh, of uh, Rain Dance. Allows you to attach as many water energy to your Pokémon as you like. Works very well with Secret Sword, which works better with more energies attached. You know, Keldeo Keldi is very powerful. It's also one of the more fragile uh, Pokemon EX that are out there, in that once you knock out the first one, uh, it's a lot more difficult for them to reset, because if you knock out the first one, there goes all their energies. Third, another major thing, Darkrai. And Darkrai is just a big, powerful Pokemon overall. It's going to beat stick on a lot of things, including this deck. Dark Cloak is a nice power. It makes everything with uh, Darkness Energy free retreat, but Night Spear is what's going to win them games against you. Night Spear does 90 damage and 30 damage to a bench. So in my case, the way that this deck's built, he can knock out one of my Eels and one of my Tynamos on the exact same turn if he can catch her correctly. Um, there are also so many different combos that you can produce with Darkrai. Uh, one of the, one of the first favorites is very, very dangerous for the Rayquaza Electric decks. That one being the, uh, Darkrai Hydrogen deck, which moves energies around and relies upon Max Potion to, uh, heal off any damage that doesn't knock anything out. So in order to properly... Uh, defeat that deck, you need to uh, you need to one shot everything that's in their deck. Also, the fact that Hydreigon is a dragon type uh, really really hurts Rayquaza EX itself. Stemming from that, Rayquaza originally was only a shiny Pokemon, very very rare to find, <clears throat> can now be found in any Dragon Vault. A collection. It's actually one of the window cards that are in there. It has 120 HP and two attacks that both just blast through Rayquaza EX like it's butter. For three energies, it does 90 damage. And the energy cost means that it's very easy to put into decks that are already running these things. So, in for instance, Mirror Rayquaza... For, there are a lot of Rayquaza electric decks that run this Rayquaza in order to counter other Rayquaza electric decks. This is a card that 
you know, I was debating about putting into this deck, but ultimately decided against, partly because I just couldn't find the card at the time that I was trying to play it, but also because I was really, really hot on trying to get Thunderous working correctly. That's sort of what I was talking about earlier, about countering your own deck. Raikou does that very, very well. Raikou does 100 damage to the bench, which one-shots electrics. And against an electric deck, the biggest thing that you... The best thing that you can do for yourself is to knock out electrics. Knock out electrics. Okay? So you gotta... To, gotta go after those things, and you gotta protect them. Raikou's a really big thing against this deck. Next two things... And I consider these two to kind of be the same because they're sort of played side by side. Terrakian and Terrakian EX. They're both basically the same idea. I'll focus on the regular Terrakian because this is the one that sees a little more play. This Terrakian, for only two energies, can, can revenge kill any of the electric Pokemon in this deck. It also puts a major hurting on Rayquaza's, uh, on Rayquaza's HP as well. It's, it's a big guy, 130 HP, and it's not an EX, which is huge. You only take one prize when you knock this guy out. So you have to be really, really careful when facing a Terrakian. There's also Terrakian EX. Uh, this, guy's more, this guy's more of a generalized beat stick than the surgical strike that the other one was, that the other Terrakian is. This one has a gigantic 180 HP. Uh, its first attack is okay, 2 for 50, but the second attack, 90 for 3, and attaches two energy cards from your hand to one of your Pokemon. This is one of the ways that you can counter an electric deck, by simply getting your energies out faster than your opponent can. This Terrakian is a very, very popular counter to the electric deck. But the biggest, single largest threat to the Rayquaza electric deck is this thing, Landorus EX. This card just came out in the newest set, and it is obnoxiously powerful. It has the standard EX of 180 HP, has pretty decent retreat, pretty high retreat cost, but... Uh, you're never going to be retreating this thing in against an electric deck because of that first attack. Hammerhead. For one energy, it does 30 damage to the active and 30 damage to the bench. This means that it basically, on turn one, can knock out two of the Tynamos that I have in this deck because they only have 30 HP. I know that a lot of the other uh, electric decks run the 40 HP Tynamo, which is what I'm probably going to end up doing when I fin when I finish fixing this thing up. Its second attack uh, is also very, very powerful, called Land Judgment, which can deal 150 damage for three energies if you discard the energy cards, which doesn't really mean much of anything. Which, the discard doesn't really mean much of anything, because... Even if they did, even if you discard the energy you, with Landorus, you're still next turn going to be hitting 30-30 with uh, with Hammerhead. So this card right here is the one card that Electric really, really needs to deal with in order for it to be a competitive deck in the in the next format. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um.